Hey, what's up, what's up? This is Joe from Man of Real Production. And this is the completed configuration I'll be going with for my 7D from now on. Now, I'm showing it to you without the big shoulder piece for two reasons. One is to let you guys know that this configuration is based off of bundle unit number five over at the Elochrome website. And two, to also let you guys know that you really don't need the big shoulder piece to do a configuration like this or whatever configuration you can think of. Starting from the back, we have the Techion battery pack and that's powering the Canon 7D and a Marshall 5 inch monitor. Then we have the headphones for monitoring audio that's coming out of the Juice Link DT454. And then we have the Canon 7D itself without the battery grip. And that is mounted to a quick release in case I have to take the camera off right away. Now, the Canon 7D is being powered by the Tachyon battery pack because I'm running Magic Lantern, which in turn gives me a much longer record time. Then we have the Easy Photo Photo C Follow Focus System, and that's to help us pull focus much more accurate. Then we have the Marshall 5 inch monitor. Now that too is being powered by the Tachyon battery pack. And I'm also using the Sun Hood. So now let's go to the other side so I can finish describing what's on the setup. We have the Asden. SGM 1X microphone and that's going into the Juice Link DT454. And then we have the new accessory which is the Sony UWP V1 wireless lavalier mic system. Now I'm not going to do a review on it but I will leave a link to the video that I've done describing the details on the Sony UWP V1 wireless lavalier mic system. So as you can see, like I said, this is this configuration is based off of bundle unit number five. This is a much more lightweight, compact setup. Whether I'm using it on a tripod or going shoulder mounted. So let me show you the modifications I had to make to the shoulder support. Now, because I shoot a lot from my shoulder, uh, the original pads that came with my shoulder support, as you can see, uh, they kind of wore down. So what I'm gonna have to do is get those pads restuffed. So until I get them restuffed, I had to improvise. And let me show you how I improvise. What I took was some foam that I had I took a piece of cloth I had it sewed together. As you can see, this is sewed together, hand sewed together, and put some heavy duty industrial strength Velcro on it and I stuck it to the shoulder pad. So now this gives me much more comfort and support. Okay, and it also helps with stability. So this is a much thicker, comfortable shoulder pad. So let me show you what it looks like with the new shoulder pad on there. And one thing I do is add my counterweight. Now, the reason I add my counterweight is because if I have to use my full-size mat box, which I will be using almost 90% of the time, I have to have counterbalance. And that's what the counterweight is going to do. It's going to give me much more counterbalance to the setup itself. So this is the setup I'll be going with for my 7D from now on. Uh, as you can see I have everything on there to shoot a full length video or to do a one on one interview.
And if you can see it right on the monitor, you should be able to see it recording. I'm using Magic Lantern. So, if you got any questions or comments, don't hesitate to hit me up below. Please subscribe. And I thank you guys for watching. And this is Joe from Interroll Production. I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace. I'm out.